You know, when I first started this channel, I wanted it to be something different. I wanted to do more spooky related content, paranormal type stuff. But over time, it's kind of reverted back to what it used to be. You know, I always end up trying to please the algorithm. YouTube wants me to make longer videos more frequently about trending topics. So, you know, of course, like reactions and vlogs were good because you need to be able to put out stuff often, stuff that's not so hard to edit. I just took shrooms the other day and it made me realize that I should be doing more content that I want to make. Maybe not worry so much about getting views. Go back to the kind of stuff I was making on my archive and what is now my archive channel. Just like short, funny videos. I've been watching a lot of Bo Burnham lately. Like a lot of Bo Burnham. Mostly just his inside special. Like a lot. So much Bo Burnham. Welcome to the internet. Have a look. No, no, fuck. White woman. White woman's Instagram. Okie dokie. Oh, wow, does he just stare into the projector? Oh my god! He's coming! I just want to say for the record um, that I do not want to kill myself, okay? I don't want to kill myself, and I'm not going to kill myself. Um, and if you're out there and you're struggling with, you know, suicidal thoughts and, and you want to kill yourself, I just want to tell you, don't, okay? Can you not, please? Just don't, all right? Fucking quit it with the... But really, don't kill yourself. You don't want to because... There are people that love you. That's not true, necessarily, but there could be people that love you in the future. Hey, boo. Say you say you ate the last nuggy. What? Say you ask. Say you ate the last nugget, chicken nugget. I ate the last chicken nugget. Chicken nugget. Oh. <laughs> what was that thing? When, when boo eats the. <laughs> I forgot what that was. When boo eats the last chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> and then you turn around and look at me all crazy. I hear about the kill. <laughs> you know, I'm probably the only person who noticed this, but Bo Burnham was like naked, or mostly naked, for a lot of the special. You know what I mean? In his underwear a lot. I thought about doing that more for this one, but I feel like it works better when he does it, I mean, you know, he's not in bad shape, but let's be real, he's a skinny dude. Kinda, you know, there's a frailty to him, I guess, that he kind of accentuates. You know what I mean? Like he wants to portray himself as kind of like struggling with living inside that kind of decrepit look as much as possible. But that's exactly why I can't pull it off. I've actually been working out a bit lately, so I'm in pretty good shape right now. Comedically, it wouldn't be as funny. Oh man, girlfriend usually likes it when I shave my chest, but she does like her a hairy nipple. All 
eyes on me, all eyes on me. Is that Tupac? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? You get a free copy of GarageBand if you own a Mac or a number of Apple products. When I was doing like uh, fortune reading videos, yeah, experimented with that for a minute too. Uh, I did my own background music. It's, it's definitely, it definitely can be hard to be funny in a little room. Was that what he said? But I can totally relate having to like go through the pandemic in total isolation. Like literally not even a roommate or anyone there to really keep you company the whole time. Just me, myself, and I. Only I. You know, but we persevere. I feel like I should do shrooms more often, like maybe once a month, just to stay more grounded.